hello and welcome to the Official Watchers YouTube channel. Here in Jardin du Mayfair, heaven on earth for the watch enthusiast, I have something very exciting for you today in the form of a new release from Rolex. This is none other than the Rolex Yachtmaster 42mm Falcon Eye Dial, the 226-659. Okay, so it's the first time I'm seeing the piece. First time most people will have seen it, I'd say. And this is absolutely beautiful. What a special dial. I can't wait for you guys to see this one up close. So the funny thing about Yacht Masters is that in the collecting world, they're a watch that tends to pass people by. They aren't a hype piece. They are rarely mentioned in the discussion of tool watchers. And in fairness to them, they are woefully underrated. There are of course reasons for this, but with the upgrades to the line, they're reasons that are relevant to the yachties of old, less so in the current lineup. The Yacht Master was first launched in 1992 in full yellow gold. It was very much a Hello Sailors type of piece, designed, as its name suggests, for the yachting set. Those who split their time between sailing and getting plastered on martinis while gracing the decks of the Yacht Club. A steel case and bracelet variant, the 16622, was launched in 1999 and is considered by some to be the definitive yacht master. It had a platinum dial, a vibrant red seconds hand and a platinum bezel that was mounted on an oyster bracelet with polished center links. The 16622 was and still is a lovely watch, but it was always a niche seller and never really hit its peak. It wasn't appealing enough to the tool watch nutters to be a really big hit. There have been plenty of other configurations of Yachtmaster available over the years, ranging from 27 mm, which is of course now discontinued, to the 44 mm of the Regatta Chronograph. That's a hefty beast. They have been available in a range of flavors, bimetal, full gold, sunburst dials, plain dials, mother of pearl dials, and pretty much everything in between bar a full stainless steel variant. Those of you who keep in the loop will also be aware of the brand spanking new 2023 release that I saw at Watches and Wonders. That's the Yachtmaster 42 in full RLX titanium. RLX Titanium was a new metal in the Rolex Playground that was initially premiered in the whopping 50mm Deep Sea Challenge. Check out my video on that watch if you'd like to see it. So let's call the new Titanium Yachtmaster 42 the follow-up for more moderate wearers. Now personally, I don't think we're going to see a Titanium Submariner anytime soon, which is indicative of the strategy that Rolex is putting into the Yachtmaster with its recent tweaks, firsts and investment into the Yachtmaster range. It has gone from the oddball of the catalogue to the point where it's offering some significant competition to its stablemates. The most notable of which was the 2019 release of the Yachtmaster 42, which shed its soft bouncy curves in favour of a larger, sharper, beefier case, which echoes that of the Submariner plus one millimetre. So for those of you who have met my love of analogies before, it's gone from Sarah Jessica Parker to full Sarah Connor. This has been a roaringly successful evolution that brings us quite neatly to the subject of this review, the Yachtmaster 42 Falcon Eye Dial. Okay, so as we're getting nicely into the waffle, let's get her out and have a little look. So when I first saw this watch at Watches and Wonders in 2023, it was under a light and it just gave the dial this really bright tone. I had decided through the glass that it had looked a little bit like charcoal, which I'm kind of sticking to actually, but there's something very, very special about it indeed. If you watch the channel, you'll know that I'm a fan of the larger watches. So I was already totally sold on the plain Jane version. The Yachtmaster 42 is a relatively new addition to the Rolex lineup. Released in 2019 in 18 karat white gold with a black dial, it's got the macho hard lines of the Submariner along with a gorgeous matte black ceramic bezel. The best thing about this bezel is you have no more worries about taking chunks out of platinum. 
and is fitted to a Rolex Oyster Flex bracelet, which in typical Rolex form is not actually as simple as a rubber strap. The Oyster Flex bracelet was released in 2015 on the 40mm Everose Yachtmaster, and it compromises of two titanium blades in arced shapes, which make the base of the skeleton strap. The blades are covered by a black elastomer, which is a rubber that has two fins on the underside, and that raises it from your wrist, which dramatically improves ventilation and comfort. It's supremely comfortable and very robust. It is, in my humble opinion, the perfect bracelet for this particular reference. As a side note, I would love Rolex to do a few different colors in these, Forest green, anyone? The use of both matte ceramic and oyster flex in this instance is Rolex playing a sneaky blinder. Because if you want the increased sized oyster flex and a non gloss ceramic, the Yachtmaster 42 is your only option. Rolex haven't released a sub or sea dweller with a matte bezel or on an oyster flex. So Rolex have very cleverly created a funnel from those who want matte and rubber straight to the Yachtmaster line, which has clearly done the job as Yachtmasters have seen a switch from being a faintly forgotten about member of the professional lineup to increased popularity and waiting lists. Job done, Rolex. The case is 18 karat white gold with thick lugs and flat polished case sides. And the bezel is matte ceramic with raised polished numbers. So no surprises from the crown there. They've knocked it out of the park. So here we go, the dial. That is the show of this piece and this particular model. It's called Falcon Eye, which is a stone from the Tiger Eye family. The technical term is unreplaced crocodilite. But rather than exhibiting flashes of golden brown like the tiger, the falcon eye exhibits flashes of mid and dark blue with the occasional green or grey bands. The stone is said to have both calming and protective properties, which makes it an ideal talisman for dealing with traffic, children, GPs, receptionists, and customer service hotlines, as well as excelling in its default setting of yachts, boats, decks, bars, clubs, and snorkeling. The wonderful thing about the dial is that in some lights, it looks utterly black and unassuming. But when the light hits it, it glints into life and displays some captivating blue and grey striations. Given that low-key extravagance has become pretty synonymous with the Yachtmaster, this is in general an absolute triumph. I suppose that drawing this review to a close, a sensible question would be to ask, would I choose this Yachtmaster 42 over any of its competitors? Whether that's a precious metal or steel sub, a GMT or even a Daytona, as these pieces are their natural competitors. And I have to say, yes, in a falcon-eyed flash. Now onto the meat and potatoes. This is the only falcon eye dial that I've seen. The price is 42,000 pounds, but if you're looking for something understated and really cool, and the chances are you're gonna be the only person with that yacht master at the dinner party or the yacht club, then this is the one for you. Guys, thank you so much for joining me here in Jardin du Mayfair. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe so I can keep these videos coming your way.